Last week here on Thursday Night Thunder, as we closed out the May season, it came down to Clydesdale taking on the Blue Thunder Ford. And it was all the rookie in the Blue Thunder Ford claiming victory over the Clydesdale Chevrolet in the final round of the May season. And now Charlie Stevens looks to defend his checkered flag as we approach the brand new June season tonight. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the all-new June season of Thursday Night Thunder, and we have got 16 of Monster Truck Attitude's very best trucks and drivers right here in the dirt for you tonight. A track layout that's going to be bad fast, so these drivers better have a handle on their trucks right here tonight as we kick off the June season. Several new rookies join us as we kick off the June season as well. We've got the brand new Avengers strutting and stuff. Not to mention we've got Rage making its debut right here tonight to kick off the June season of Thursday Night Thunder. There you see Charlie Stevens' checkered flag flying high off the back of Blue Thunder. We're going to see if he holds on to it right here tonight for week one of the June season. Now jumping into round one action. Up first we are going to see Excalibur take on Bounty Hunter. Then we're going to see Dragonoid take on Black Stallion followed by High Roller taking on Monster Mutt. Then we're going to see the Midnight Rider take on the U.S. Air Force Afterburner, and that'll round out your first half of round one action. Now, coming back to the line for the first time in a long time, Johnny Redlaw, the Excalibur Chevrolet, beautiful square body, ready to take on the Cowboy from Hell. That's Timothy Cantwell, former three-time Thursday Night Thunder champion, the Bounty Hunter Ford Expedition at Otago Noxie, Kansas. He is ready to go in the far lane. He got two championship wins in the May season. He's looking for redemption right here tonight. Ford versus Chevrolet now up and over the first dirt bubble. Down the straight stretch, up and over no man's land, and Cantwell's in trouble. I do believe he may got across the finish line first over Johnny Redlaw in the Excalibur Chevrolet. But in the event, Excalibur was hanging right there with him. And yes, we confirm that Bounty Hunter is your winner. And next up in round one, Aaron Church out of Sky High Racing, driving Bakugan Dragonoid, now set to take on Joey Andrews in his debut Thursday Night Thunder season. And he is driving the Black Stallion Ford out of Hagerstown, Maryland. And he's driving for K&J Motorsports. Who's going on to round two action on Thunder? Here's the green light up and over the cars. Down the straight stretch they go. Up and over no man's land here. And Joey Andrews in Black Stallion will put Dragonoid on the trailer early here in round one competition. Kicking off the June season, and the K&J Motorsports race team is looking strong. Now next up here in round one competition, we've got none other than Tyler Fugate coming back to Thursday Night Thunder in the high roller forward. He is now set to take on Nathan Smith, driving for the Dog Pound race team. He is staged in the far lane in Monster Mutt. Now to remind you, Nathan Smith has been out here on Thunder before in that Monster Mutt truck. He knows what it takes to get across the finish line first. The question is, can he outdrive High Roller in the far lane? Here's the green light up and over the first stack of cars. They're even down the stretch. Tyler Fugate's in trouble, but Nathan Smith is upside down. I was watching the near lane. Fugate got out of trouble there in no man's land. He drove out of it, and Nathan Smith went for a cartwheel of a ride. He flat landed that thing and tried to correct it. But nonetheless, as we go back and watch, you see him down the straight stretch. They're hanging pretty even. Watch the far lane and Nathan Smith. He seems to have lost it right there. Kind of got a little cattywampus, tried to drive out of it. Couldn't come up with it. High Roller is your winner. And next up in round one, we have got Justin Lamb in Midnight Rider. He is now set to take on the Iceman, Jeffrey Skipper, former six-time Thunder champion, debuting his brand new ride for the June season of Thunder. Air Force is staged over in the far lane. He is strutting his stuff out here with a brand new piece of equipment. However, Justin Lamb has just departed ways from Outlaw Motorsports. He wants to make a big name for himself. Here's the green light. Down the straight stretch, they're hanging even. And Justin Lamb and Midnight Rider will get the win over the brand new Air Force monster truck. Justin Lamb is out on a mission. He's got something to prove over his former Outlaw teammates. Now next up in round one, Mike Canzonery bringing the Grave Digger out of Kill Double Hills, North Carolina to the starting line. He's ready to take on newcomers of Thursday Night Thunder and Outlaw Motorsports' newest acquisition, Rudy Zilogy, 
in rage. He is sitting over in the near lane, ready to go in his brand new ride. We've seen him out here on one of the bigger shows before. Mike Canzonery from Digger's Diecast Race Team in Gravedigger. Here's the green light up and over the first car, and we got a race up and through no man's land here, and folks, I don't know who got it. Rage was hanging right there with the Grave Digger as they went across the finish line. Newcomer Rudy Zilogy putting the hammer down on the Grave Digger in the far lane. We're going to have to go back and take a look at an MTA photo finish. Your winner is going to be Rudy Zilogy in Rage. He will knock off Grave Digger early here in round one. A good run by both trucks nonetheless. And next up, Matthew Riley, the 2020 Summer Heat Shootout Champion, representing the Dog Pound Race Team and Monster Mutt Husky. Now set to take on Rich Wagner, Mr. Consistency, the former 11-time Thursday Night Thunder champion. He drives for no fear racing and that bad bow tie better known as Wild Hair. Boat truck stage. There's a green light over the first stack of cars down the straight stretch. Husky's got a lead. Wagner's got his hands full and I don't know if he came up with it in the end. Matthew Riley was putting the screws to the Wild Hair. Wagner knew he had his hands full. Turned the truck over that last set of cars. What an incredible race. We gotta go back and look at our photo finish as Wagner hangs it up on the back end of the truck. Your winner, Matthew Riley and Monster Mutt Husky, he will advance to round two competition. And next up, we have got newcomer Cam Blank in the 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air known as Avenger. He is ready to take on former one-time Thunder champion and this year's Monster Mania 3 champion Jalen Buford in the USA 1 Chevrolet staged over there in the far lane. It's going to be a battle of the bow tie here in round one. An old 72 Chevrolet pickup taking on a 57 Chevy Bel Air. Old school for the win here down the straight stretch. Now they're hanging even. USA 1 starting to pull on Avenger and USA 1 gets the win over the Avenger Chevrolet here in round one. Jalen Buford puts that wicked looking Bel Air on the trailer early. We're going to see USA 1 back for round two competition. Now to close out round one action, the current champion Charlie Stevens returning in Blue Thunder this June season, now set to take on Jamie Hurd at a Taganoxie, Kansas in the Iron Outlaw Machine. Now does Hurd have enough this season to knock off the current champion over in the far lane? If I had to say, and looking at the past records, old Jamie Hurd's got a little more experience out here on the Thunder track, but you can't count out the rookies. Blue Thunder to take on Iron Outlaw to close out round one. There's the green light down the straight stretch. They're even up through no man's land. And Blue Thunder's in trouble. And Jamie Hurd and the Iron Outlaw tried to shut it down in the end. And he does pick up the victory here over Blue Thunder. So we will crown a new champion here tonight. Watch right here in the instant replay. Up and over that first stack of cars. You see Hurd maybe here starting to pull a little bit of a lead over Blue Thunder. Charlie Stevens knows he's in trouble. He tries to put the hammer down and lost it through no man's land. And just flat out spun the truck out. So we will crown a new champion as we approach round two to kick off the June season. And up first, Bounty Hunter will take on Black Stallion. High Roller will take on the Midnight Rider. Then we'll see Rage take on the old Monster Mutt Husky. Then USA 1 takes on the Iron Outlaw. And up first in round two, we've got the Cowboy from Hell, Timothy Cantwell and Bounty Hunter, former three-time champion, looking for number four here tonight. But Joey Andrews and K&J Motorsports Black Stallion has been looking strong at all of our big events. They got their stuff dialed in. Is Black Stallion going to overtake the Bounty Hunter Ford here to kick off round two competition? Two Fords going head to head. Andrews takes on Cantwell. There's a the green light up and over the first deck. And Stallion's got a lead. Bounty Hunter put the hammer down. Cantwell turns it over. What an incredible comeback from the Bounty Hunter in the near lane. What an incredible race altogether. And Joey Andrews had his hands full, but Cantwell put the hammer down and got the win. And next up in round two, Midnight Rider driven by Justin Lamb, again the former driver for Outlaw Motorsports, now set to take on Tyler Fugate in the high roller forward. And both trucks look really strong in round one, especially the Midnight Rider. Tyler Fugate in the near lane, he ran that near lane in round one, had a little bit of trouble in no man's land, can he correct it here in round two? Here's the green light down the straight stretch. They go Midnight Rider with a strong lead. And Fugate gets in trouble there over that first jump yet again. And Justin Lamb, Midnight Rider, will gather his second victory right here tonight to kick off the June season. We'll see him back for semifinal competition. And next up in round two, Rudy Zilogy, the brand new driver for Outlaw Motorsports in Rage, now set to take on Matthew Riley. 
driving Monster Mutt Husky here. He's going to be staged over in the near lane. There you see newcomer to the scene, Rudy Zilogy and Rage. He looked bad fast in round one competition. He's looking to knock off the Husky here in round two. And you have to imagine he would want nothing more than a championship victory on his debut season of Thunder. Here's the green light now up and over the first deck of cards. We got a race through no man's land here and across the finish line. Boat Trucks trying to shut it down. Rudy Zilogy put the hammer down. And so did Matthew Riley and Monster Mutt Husky as we go back here and watch the race. You see them coming down the straight stretch. They're hanging fairly even. Rudy Zilogy right here, flying high over no man's land. And look at the near lane. Matthew Riley does not hit the cars, but it doesn't matter. Rudy Zilogy gets the win, and Monster Mutt will be disqualified anyways. Did not hit the cars. Now next up in round two, Jalen Buford, USA 1 Chevrolet. Now set to take on Jamie Hurd in the Iron Outlaw Ford. He knocked off the current champion earlier in round one competition. He is now set to take on longtime MTA veteran. That is Jalen Buford stage here in the near lane. Hurd knows how to get the job done, but so does Jalen Buford as he's won many championships with that truck. Here's the green light. Ford and Chevrolet now down the straight stretch. Hurd's got a lead on him. Buford's in trouble. And what an incredible race there to close out round two. Ford versus Chevrolet, USA 1 taking on the Iron Outlaw as we go back down to a photo finish. Your winner, Jalen Buford in the USA 1 Chevrolet by merely inches over Iron Outlaw. Now ladies and gentlemen, we want to take you down to the MTA pits for you to help us celebrate an anniversary. First things first, 40 years. Gravedigger for 40 years, baby. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The brand new 40th anniversary Gravedigger is here tonight at the June season kickoff of Thursday Night Thunder. Mike Canzonery behind the wheel. Already knocked out earlier here in round one, but you can rest assured and bet your bottom dollar that Gravedigger's coming back for the latter half of the June season. But now changing gears back to Thunder on the semifinal competition. Up first, we're going to see Bounty Hunter take on Midnight Rider. Then we're going to see Rage take on the USA 1 Chevrolet. And this first round ought to be a dandy because it's a former Outlaw Motorsports driver taking on a current Outlaw Motorsports driver. Tim Cantwell and the Bounty Hunter coming back to the line to take on Justin Lamb and the Midnight Rider. Both these trucks have been running strong all night. Bounty Hunter rolled over in the first round matchups, got the win. He is back here in semifinal competition to take on the former team representative and Justin Lamb, Midnight Rider in the far lane. Here's the green light now down the straight stretch, up and over the first second cars, up and over no man's land, and Cantwell gets the win over Justin Lamb and Midnight Rider. And what a great race to start the semifinal competition. Justin Lamb was hanging right there with Bounty Hunter. Awesome job, and we're guaranteed an all Outlaw Motorsports final because Rudy Zilogy and Rage coming to the line from Outlaw Motorsports now set to take on Jalen Buford in the USA 1 Chevrolet. Now, Jalen's got a little bit more experience out here on the Thunder Circuit. USA 1, always a great truck and always dialed in. Rudy Zilogy and Rage looking to come up with his first final appearance here on Thunder. Here's the green light up and over the first stack of cars. USA 1's got a slight lead. Rage trying to come back and he may have done it. Rudy Zilogy may have come back on Jalen Buford in the end. Rage may have just pulled off the biggest upset on Thunder history. What an incredible race. Rage versus USA 1. Going back to a photo finish. Your winner is going to be Jalen Buford in USA 1 by merely three quarters of an inch. What an incredible race to close out semis. I want to remind you guys that June 25th, right here on the MTA YouTube channel, we present Wild Card at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. 32 trucks will be racing for one championship. Again, that's June 25th. But now we jump over to the finals here to kick off the June season of Thunder. And it's going to be the Cowboy from Hell, Timothy Cantwell and Patty Hunter, a former three-time Thunder champion, now set to take on his own teammate, Jalen Buford, USA 1, the Chevrolet, former one-time Thursday Night Thunder champion. However, Jalen just picked up the biggest win of his career, the Monster Mania 3 championship earlier this year. Bounty Hunter takes on USA 1 to kick off the first week of the June season. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Down the straight stretch now, Ford versus Chevrolet up and over no man's lane. USA 1 out of shape, gets into Bounty Hunter and turns him over. And Timothy Cantwell gets the win over USA 1 here in the first week of the final round of the June season of Thunder as we go back and take another look. Watch right here off the start. Tim Cantwell in the far lane. 
Got a jump on USA 1 in the near lane as they come down to approach No Man's Land. Watch the near lane and Jalen Buford. He got crossed up right there off of that first jump. Gets into Bounty Hunter there in the shutdown area and rolled him over. What an awesome race to kick off the June season. But nonetheless, congratulations to Timothy Cantwell and Bounty Hunter on your fourth Thursday Night Thunder Championship. And now, ladies and gentlemen, as we look at the overall point standings to close out week one of the June season, Air Force, Monster Mutt, Dragonoid, and Excalibur hold the latter half of the bracket closed with 30 points here tonight. Jumping over to the top half of the bracket, it's all Outlaw Motorsports with Timothy Cantwell and Bounty Hunter leading the pack with 60, Jalen Buford and USA 1 with 50, and Rudy Zillagy and Rage with 45 points rounding out your top three here to close out the first week of the June season on Thunder. And ladies and gentlemen, that'll wrap up week one of the June season right here on Thursday Night Thunder. I thank you all for coming out and watching the show with us. We hope you had a great time watching these guys throw it down. Be sure if you haven't already, crush that subscribe button, and I'll catch you down the road. See you next week. Standing tall up in victory lane, I done brought the pain and now they're screaming my name. Yeah, everybody saw me rock the place. Now there's flash bulbs are popping and mics in my face. In my face, always giving the crowd what they need. Now they're wearing my shirts, front row to nosebleed. Yeah. Now the crowd forms is what it's all about. Signing all the raps until the lights out. Uh, yeah, it's about that. It's about that. It's been a long time. Uh,